welcome back to a new day but obviously it's the same day as yesterday for me <laughs> so yes I've done the vegetables for Dan's tea they look charry because that's how I like them and that's how Dan likes them so I've gotten them purposely like that in the meantime I've put the meat on but I haven't come in to stir it yet so and I am literally way over time now with my hair oh man I should have been stirring this yeah, I'm way over time with my hair because I've been having camera troubles and getting clips off cameras and laptops and stuff. So, oh, so I'm still yet to rinse this off and just like, still slowly getting through the washing. So it's all coming along nice, but I can't really do my hair now until this mince is done now, really, can I? So let's open this um, old El Paso kit and see what we get. So these are quite expensive actually, I think this was £4, they've definitely gone up over the years, I remember buying these sort of things like 10 years ago, definitely gone up in price, well everything has, that's obvious Matty. And also, to buy the kit, you can buy them separate anyway, I don't know, let's say £1.60, something like that, so, and then all you get really is a salsa in it and then your barbecue seasoning you see so ideally you could probably do this separately a lot cheaper um, it's up to you I just buy the kit because it's it's looking around the supermarket for for the seasoning and then trying to get a bit of salt well I mean I could have gotten salsa on that couldn't I but um, yeah I, it probably would be cheaper doing that sort of separately so yeah this is just all it is um, mix that in I should barbecue seasoning the salsa is just for the toppings I bought Dan then some sour cream you add cheese tiny bit of lettuce and then also he's got all this veg as well so that's what I'm talking about he, he doesn't realize he's eating healthy but he is <laughs> he's getting some veg into him anyway which he needs <laughs> desperately needs right I need to try and mix my mince up a little bit more and break it up don't like big lumps like that yeah I had to leave it um I got carried away with the laptops and cameras and then everything was going wrong so it took my time up right I'll get through it I've really enjoyed today just sort of doing my hair getting my washing done listening to my lecture and doing a bit of cooking it's been quite chilled <laughs> right so that's had plenty of time but what I'm going to do now oh actually no sorry I wanted to get the still needs a bit more time not much get those into there Look all that flavouring juice on there oh, oh I'm sorry <laughs> This is going to be really tasty. There's going to be lots there. I've just said to Danny, he's going to have a massive amount of mix. <laughs> now it looks like I haven't done enough fish, really, don't it, compared to the meat? I'm sure, it'll be stretched though. Right, so what I'm going to do now is add the seasoning. the whole packet now this is when it starts to smell nice you can smell it straight away it now even though it says mild I mean you can spice it up anyway with like your jalapenos and stuff trust me the flavor itself is actually really tasty I'll tell you what else I used to always make as well years and years and years ago not with Dan is um and gelades, but I used to make them homemade or practically homemade no you know I did use to buy the kit actually but I had a special way of making those I think they're called angelados but we used to call them angelades can we have angelades tonight mum <laughs> so cute right so with this now I'm just going to add a splash of water I'll just do my own thing. I don't even read the instructions anymore. It's just simple. There's no rules to cook in. I've told everyone this before. There literally ain't no rule to cook in. I'm going to put that on a full whack. Now, I can't wait to get this done because then I can just put foil over it if I've got any foil. 
I'm really low on foil and get this washed off my hair because it is humdinging. It is actually rank. <laughs> but yeah, that's starting to look nice. Blue the electric, but I have swapped over washing again, more washing, so that's done. Um, and this is coming along nice. This has had quite some time now. And then hopefully I can get this washed off my head. <laughs> So what I have quickly done actually, I just found this for heater seasoning. It was half a pack, which I saved from my last fajitas. So I've actually dumped that in on top. It smells kind of spicy as you know. Because there's probably a more meat than there should need be. Maybe it needed a bit more flavor. <laughs> but anyway, I've, I've added it now. Oh yeah, that smells good. Yeah, that smells fantastic. Waste not, want not. I do actually remember I found a brand new roll last night actually. I thought I would sell all out. Right, let's turn the heat off on that. Smells amazing. Do you know adding that last little fajita mix, I think it's made it even smell better actually. Right, so that's all ready to just reheat for a bit later on. Now, let's go and rinse my hair off. <laughs> oh no, I've got to deal with washing first. So quickly, just at this point actually, talking about washing machines, tumble dryers, etc. I do get an awful lot of people still asking me what model is it and blah, blah, blah. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head what the washing machine is. But what I will say is the links are down in the description. Uh, if you just follow the Amazon link, I will take you out now just to show you my tumble dryer. I think it's a Russell Hobbs. Yes, it's a Russell Hobbs. But once again, I don't know the model name or anything like that. It's tiny. It barely comes up to just over mini kind of thing. I'm 5'2". So it's small. Very, very lightweight. But once again, like I said, link is down in description anyway. So... Get down if you want to check those out. Right, take a peek. Tell me what you think. Does it look okay? The food? You, yeah, you're not trying it. Why? Oh. Get a spoon. <laughs> What's the flavour like? Yeah, nice. Nice, right, get out of it. I only asked you to have a look and you didn't even look, you just scoffed. <laughs> Bang on. Bang on, yeah. Cool. That's quite all. spicy as well. Yeah, yeah. Has his little special ingredient to that at the end. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> right, let's take this off together, yeah? Let's have a look. It's still black. There's no... I'll tell you what, this is the most stinkiest... F I'm not even going to bother probably with that second one then, am I? It don't look like it's shifted anything, has it? Mm. Oh, let's rinse this off. <laughs> Oh, nightmare. I'm absolutely soaking wet. I had to keep leaving it for a few minutes because my shower tray is actually full from the doing the washing. So I just hope I've actually um, rinsed this properly. Now, I will say, I did actually see slight colouring leave my head while rinsing it. So it's, it's obviously done a little something, isn't it? I haven't seen it. Yeah, so it's obviously done a little something. It's still black. I can see it in the camera. It's still black. And I don't think I've rinsed it properly, no. Well, that's that then. Now, I would like to say I'd like to blow dry it, but I've already blown the electric today, so I don't know how I can... I don't think I can... It feels... I, I did the buffering thing. All right, it might have rinsed it out, so to say. <laughs> but, um there's no conditioner in it it feels horrible feels like one tangled knot now anyway gave it a go didn't i <laughs> so i've got stuff out in the tumble dryer i've got stuff in the washing machine i've already dried and washed these pajamas which i'm about to change now i'm going to put these on because my red ones need washing now i've got a clean tea towel and a clean jackie so we're getting somewhere today so that actually took me a month for sundays to brush through that and i'm looking stupid now but at least I've got some clean dry pyjamas on now because they, they were getting all wet and all, they, they were soaking wet. 
so yeah this is it i'm sure once dry which i wish i could get the hair dryer out but i can't really not with all these plugged in um yeah so we'll just have to wait till the morning i suppose you're gonna have to wait still aren't you yeah look at the state of me no eyebrows left or anything <laughs> who cares big pile of washing don't forget the big pajamas i'm wearing as well <laughs> so that's all done today got a dinner on the go i think dan's ready for it now let's dish this up bung them in the microwave Dan ain't going to eat too many of these. Oh, they're hot. They're hot. I might do three. I'll do three. Three boats, look. <laughs> Bung those just in the microwave. There's always loads of leftovers. Uh, right, I need to bring this over to the frying pan. Okay, so let's fill these boats. I think he's ready. Usually he'd only actually eat two, but I'm going to do three today because there ain't actually no sides of like uh, chips or anything. And there's still going to be leftovers. Look at all the leftovers. Oh, it's a shame. I might even try one. I'll see. I'll see. So back to the tacos. All right, we need some jalapenos. Just a couple on each. Just a couple. Give it a little twang. There we go. A little bit of salsa. Massive pouch left over, but hey ho, what can I do? Sour cream with these are always nice. Well, Dan likes it, I don't. <laughs> Comes out as a blob, that's annoying, isn't it? There we go. Some cheese. Got to get that cheese melted on there. And just to top it off, it's always nice to have a little sprinkling of salad. He's not going to like enjoy that, but you know. <laughs> hey ho. I've gotten some vegetables in him today. And there we go. There's Dan's tea tonight. Three tacos. Good beautiful morning to one and all. It's that special day. Happy Valentine's Day to one and all. It's Valentine's Day. Got my little heart earrings on. Dan's mum got me. And this is the jumper she got me as well. I'm loving the gold zip. It is so cute. You can literally sort of wear this in a few few ways we established. Could have it like that. Could have it up. Could have it down. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting my boots on. I've got a it's eight o'clock in the morning. I want to quickly get down and get some bedding on the go down there. Unfortunately, it's the, one of my quilts that I just can't fit into my machine. So I have to take it down there. There you go, no big deal. I can guarantee Dan don't know it's Valentine's Day today. He ain't said nothing. He's very quiet this morning. He's hardly spoke. <laughs> oh, this jumper's hot actually. So yeah, let's go down and get me washing on. Mm. I'm talking of days actually. Yesterday was Tuesday. So I could have sat there and gone, Taco Tuesday. Really wanted to do that, you know. got Dan helping me. This is a chance to check out the, the place. <laughs> I have no idea really what they're doing. I don't know if they're cutting these short and then going to 
gravel on there or what? I don't know. I've got to be quiet. It's still early this morning. Got the machines free. <laughs> Not sure if it's working though. It's got funny numbers on it. I'll have to see. Oh. You sent boosts. Carry them in a bag because once you open the tube, that's it. Turn into a mess. So this should be the only load I'm doing today. Uh, I want that on a quite a hot wash, really. Definitely not. <laughs> that one will do. And now I'm 34 minutes, 60 degrees. Yep, seems to be working. So I just got a little parcel from Amazon. They're just like little burger wrappers. It's for a dinner I've got planned for Dan this week. It's not burgers. So I thought that'll be handy. Nice little posh way to hand it to him. Right. Decided I'm not going to actually tell Dan it's Valentine's Day. I'm gonna wait, wait and see if he mentions it to me. <laughs> so one load of washing done anyway, down there it's gonna take an hour and a half-ish. It's usually two hours, it, although it says an hour and a half, it's not, so it's usually two. Um, but I'll be then changing the bed tomorrow and then we'll have this one to wash but luckily this one I can actually wash in my own washing machine now this is the necklace I also got from Dan's mum and stepdad so this was pretty and I almost forgot to put it on so let's get this on I'm sure I used to wear something like this years ago oh it's lovely yay oh it's gonna be cold that <laughs> massive chunk of metal on me is gonna be freezing if i can do it oh yes there we go how pretty is that with the earrings <laughs> thank you so much so I've, I've actually asked dan today i've given him an option what would you like for tea today so i've given him an option or two i said chicken stir fry or sheppy pie and he said chicken stir fry so which i was hoping to do anyway because you know i've got vegetables in a bag that i bought yesterday day before so obviously they're gonna need using but can i pre-make that i don't know if i can pre-make that and heat that up later i'll ask dan because if so i can just get that made can't i and pull it on a plate heat it up in the mic or reheat it up in the saucepan so i'll place you there just in case i'm coming back to do some cooking I'll go and ask him. <laughs> yeah, I've just thought about it. I've gone and asked Dan. He did say, yeah, that'll be fine. Well, you know, we're hold on. When we go to Chinese's, don't we? And we buy chicken and chow mein like in these tubs. I can just do that, can't I? Microwave. <laughs> I've lost the lid there now, though. Where's the other lid? I need another lid. Oh. Oh, where have you gone? Is it definitely not there? Oh no, I've lost the lid. Found it. Right, get me big uh, frying pan out. So this is what I'm using. They just come in bags today. So, egg noodles. Um, chicken. Where's the veg gone? And the veg. Might have to sort through that because I think some of that might not be any good. We'll see. Like for Dan's sort of tastes. And then we got this for the sauce. Right. I might add an onion to that as well, actually. So yeah, it's going to be a chicken chow mein. I love chicken chow mein, but only from particular 
um, shops. <laughs> I'm really fussy with it. I don't like all the vegetables. I like the onion, but I don't like all the vegetables. <laughs> yeah, I'm weird like that. Right, let's bring you down. Let's do some chopping and bopping. I need a fork. massive bits of chicken this is going to be quite probably too much i reckon i don't know i'm going to do like little slivers i think might be nicer dan's just come in and asked for the scissors now is it just me that does this but <laughs> i'm like what are you cutting <laughs> Do all us women do that? We want to know what our... Because you know what men's like when they're going to take a knife out to the garden or your pair of scissors. You want to know if it's going to be used on something disgusting, don't you? But no, it's not going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be a romantic meal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Dan did just drop something at the back of my, um, that'll be all right, won't it? At the back of my drawer, so now I've got to try and fish it out and see what it was. So I'm going to cook this quite sort of, not quick, but you know, I want to be like that wok chef man. <laughs> like that, you know, we're doing it all with the wok. <laughs> Gil fancy. I don't think that's a good idea on that um, bottom of that frying pan. <laughs> Let me find something else. That's all I can find now. Um, this. This will be better. Wooden spatula. Yeah, I. Whenever I get these bags, which is rare, but whenever I do. No, they don't stay fresh. I mean, they weren't. It weren't, didn't even look the freshest when I bought it. If I'm totally honest. No, so as long as it's good and it's got no fat, sort of. Um, oh, there is red onion in there already. Okay, so I don't feel like I need to chop that one up. I'll put that one back in the fridge then. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough sauce either. I'm a little bit concerned on that. I should have gotten two. But what the deal was, um, buy two, get one free. So I'd gotten the stir fry, that, one of them, and the noodles, you see. That makes sense? So, anyway, let's get cooking. It's going to be another nice day again today. I'll tell you what I've been doing. Let me just put the camera up a little bit. Dan keeps coming in and out. So what I'm doing on the travel trolls today, I'm playing a little game, see how long it takes him to say, happy Valentine's, my dear. And so far, it's not going well. <laughs> I've told him he looks lovely. I said, I love you. Not even said it back to me yet. <laughs> so anyway, go over to the travel trolls and see how this, and see how that ends. Cause I don't know yet. I don't know how that's going to end. Oh, I know obviously I haven't said it to him yet. I've told him I loved him and I've told him he looks lovely and everything's love today. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I've got two tubs to fill. I think that should be plenty. If not, I can put some on a plate or a bowl or something. So chicken's practically done. I'm gonna now add a bit of the veg. I do think I'm, I'm gonna pick. I definitely don't want all that, do I? At least I'm getting vegetables in swim though, isn't it? <laughs> You know what? It's fine. <laughs> I 
have it all. I honestly thought the bag was going to be too much, but looking at it then, no, it's fine. Still got to add the noodles to this as yet. It's going to be massive amounts. <laughs> be eating this for a month for Sundays. <sighs> yeah, the carrot is what I was debating whether to pick out. But, you know, let him decide, can't we? Mm. That's what needs to come out. You see this, look? Big fat stalks. Usually it's worse than that, but that's the only one I've seen so far. It actually smells really nice. So it's been quite some time. At one point, all the liquid had came out of the vegetables, so I'm waiting to cook that off. So it's, it's getting pretty there now. Chicken's turning sort of brownish now as well. So at this point, still got it on high heat. At this point, I'm gonna add the noodles. Now these only take a few minutes, don't they? I don't, yeah, I'll put the whole lot in. Oh, there we go. Get the sauce ready. It's gonna be a nice, healthy she dinner, isn't it? <laughs> you like going? Yeah. Might need a fork to spread that apart. Actually. That smells really nice. You do, doesn't it? I ain't even got the sauce in it yet. Turn it down, I think, just a tad, and start adding this sauce. Definitely done. Let's see what Dan thinks of that. We'll ask him. Yeah, take a fork. What do you think? Oh, be careful as all. <laughs> I can tell already it's got that stuff in it, hasn't it? What stuff? What they put in Chinese. Oh, don't you like it? It's like an aniseed taste. No, I no, don't mind aniseed. it. Aniseed. It's like an aniseed it's taste. Mein. Yeah, I know, but is it? Chow mein. Is it uh, something anise? Star anise? Star anise. I can't smell that. No, it's nice. Right. I prefer not to. Have, I think it's star anise. I prefer not to have that in my Chinese, but it's lovely anyway. They haven't overdone it. Maybe you would have preferred a different sauce. Yeah. yeah. No, it's lovely. lovely. Yeah. Mm. Nice healthy dinner for the night. And a spam sandwich for supper. Oh, get out of it. Go on, yeah. You better run, boy. Cheeky, innit? <laughs> I could make him some Chinese curry sauce to go with this, but I don't think he. I don't think he'd be bothered. Right. Let's put this in me tubs. Well, I must agree with Dan, actually. I'm not, there is, it's not star anise. I know what that smells like. But that's not even the chow mein sauce that I would like now. It, it hasn't got that smell, that flavour. 
but it still looks wonderful so let's see if we can dish this up it's a bit awkward so this is going to be dead easy now could just reheat this in the mic like we all do with our takeaways oh this is awkward isn't it <laughs> uh, Very filling these dishes are as well. I might make him a pot of curry sauce to go with it, a bit of Chinese sauce. Maybe that might dull the flavour down for him. I'll ask him. All right, that's one done. Another one on the go. Oh, there's got to be an easier way of doing this. <laughs> ah, I've got a loose one again. Then I better check to see if my washing's ready then. I doubt it is. I just need to check the time, that's all. Wash up, clean up, job done. I think this pot's got a lot more chicken in it than noodle than the other one. I might put some over there. You can have that one first. <laughs> Here we go. Right, so there's dinner, chicken chow mein. <laughs> what an easy dish, <laughs> I'm well chuffed with that. So that's dinner out the way today. So then we'll either have the other one sort of later on tonight or it's there for tomorrow, isn't it? Right, I need to kind of wash up now. Not that there's much there and it's job done. done um honey yes just thinking to dole down that taste would you like a pot of like a chinese curry sauce to go with it no no so you could put it on top no, no it's already very gravy-ish okay no, i'm don't. sorry it's not perfect is it no it's lovely it's lovely it's got lots of veggies in it's it it's crispy with it though like chips oh yeah i tell you what i forgot Spam. Now I brought, I brought you some prawn toast to go with it, didn't I? Oh, yeah. There we go. Prawn toast. That's what I forgot. But yeah, they'll be put into the oven a bit later on. Or an air fry or whatever. Ooh, yep. Good job you reminded me of that. I've just realised how long this video has been going on for. So at this point, I'm really sorry. Once again, you're not going to see the dinner or see me washing. Unfortunately for you, I'm sorry. Until tomorrow. So once again, I'm going to love you and leave you. See you tomorrow. Bye.